Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about the process of transcription. What is transcription? Transcription is the process where synthesis of RNA takes place with the help of enzyme RNA polymerase. So RNA polymerase is enzyme which helps to synthesize RNA by using the DNA template and therefore we call this RNA polymerase as DNA dependent RNA polymerase. See these are two strands of DNA one which is indicated in red in color and the other one is blue in color. The blue one is nothing but the template strand. What is mean by template strand? That the RNA polymerase, it, use, it utilizes this sequence for synthesis of RNA. And this, the RNA transcript which is produced by RNA polymerase, this transcript, it is complementary to this template strand whereas it is identical to this coding strand. So the strand which is shown red in color that is known as the coding strand and if you compare the sequence of coding strand with the RNA transcripts you will find that this sequence, this sequence is exactly identical to each other except that this is being an RNA here instead of thymine uracil is there okay whereas here on the DNA instead of uracil you will find the thymine. So in this uh, slide you must have understood what is meaning of a template strand. So template strand is the strand which is utilized by the RNA polymerase and by using this template strand exactly complementary uh, transcript is produced and we call it as a RNA transcript. This coding strand is also known as non-template strand. Yes, it is mentioned here coding strand means the DNA strand that has the same sequence as the mRNA and it is related by the genetic code to the protein sequence that it represents. Now this is nothing but the double stranded DNA and this red one is nothing but the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase it binds to the DNA at a particular sequence and that is known as the promoter. Once it binds to the promoter it adds the first ribonucleotide and that is known and that sequence is known as the start point. Then the RNA polymerase moves in this direction and till it reaches to the terminator. Once the RNA polymerase reaches to the terminator, this RNA polymerase get dissociated from this DNA and again it reassociate with the DNA by recognizing the promoter sequence. So here in this slide you will understand the few terminology like what is promoter? Promoter is the region present on the DNA where RNA polymerase bind to initiate the transcription. Now what is the start point? It is the position on the DNA which corresponds to the addition of first ribonucleotides on RNA transcript. What is terminator? Terminator is a sequence present on the DNA which causes the RNA polymerase to get dissociated from the DNA. Thus that is that results in the termination of transcription. Now what is transcription unit? It is nothing but the 
sequence between the site of initiation and the termination and this sequence is produced by rna polymerase okay so this is known as the transcription unit now what is upstream it is nothing but the sequence in the opposite direction from the expression means as i told you rna polymerase is moving in this direction isn't it once it bound to the promoter it moves in this direction so uh, the sequences in the opposite direction from the expression that is known as the upstream whereas downstream means what it is the sequences proceeding further in the direction of expression within the transcription unit that is known as the downstream sequence so these are nothing but the downstream sequence whereas these are the upstream sequences now this diagram help us to understand the entire transcription process so these are the double strand this, this these are the two strands of the dna you can see these are two strands of the dna and those are labeled like pi prime this is the uh, pi prime end whereas its other end would be 3 prime whereas this will be 3 prime then its other end will be 5 prime okay now RNA polymerase is bound to the uh, promoter and it moves in the downstream sequences and this is known as the transcription bubble where you can find very uh, easily that the two strands of DNA are separated from each other that is the unwinding of the dna duplex is seen over here see this is the process by which the unwinding is seen and because of unwinding what happened that the double stranded dna get converted into single strand one and out of this this strand it it it, it is known as the non template strand whereas the this strand it that is 3 prime to 5 prime it act as the template strand and the synthesis of uh, rna it takes place 5 to 3 direction that is the growing end is the 3 prime end so this is nothing but the active site and another important thing is that the rna transcript which is produced by Uh, addition of one by one the ribonucleotides which are complementary to this template strand now in this rna transcript uh, around 8 to 9 ribonucleotides are present then pair form means it has formed the hydrogen bond with the template strand whereas the rest of rna is free so we call it as a rna dna hybrid it is almost around 8 to 9 base pair as the rna polymerase moves further the rewinding takes place as it is moving ahead one by one the ribonucleotides get added so that this hybrid uh, structure it moves further and the r uh, the d template dna is now Uh, made available to form the hydrogen bond with the uh, its original partner that we call it as a rewinding so uh, ahead of this rna polymerase there is a process we call it as a unwinding where just behind this there is a process we call it as a rewinding and this entire uh, structure is called as the transcription bubble you can see it very well that this is the direction of transcription rna polymerase is moving further that is the transcription bubble is moving further uh, as the more and more dna is is get converted into single stranded thus the uh, rna uh, length of rna transcription script go, goes on increasing so as compared with this you can see that the rna transcript has increased and 
the whereas the dna rna hybrid it is in all the cases it is almost around 8 to 9 bases which are involved in the pairing uh, in pairing with dna okay and this is the rewinding point so this diagram helps us to understand how exactly the elongation process or transcription takes place now i'll uh, i would like to elaborate more on the transcription bubble see these are the two strands of the dna 5 prime to 3 prime and the other one which is exactly complementary to this that is 3 prime to 5 prime these are two strands of the dna next is the melting of dna takes place because of melting of dna what happened that the hydrogen bonds which are present between these two strands though those hydrogen bonds are broken and as the hydrogen bonds are broken thus the template is made available for the rna polymerase next thing is that rna polymerase comes in the picture and it binds to this template strand and once that is associated with the template strand it reads the information which is there on the template and accordingly exactly complementary ribonucleotides get added one by one in the direction 5 to 3 so thus you can see that the first ribonucleotide has been added over here next is this rna chain get extended this is the exactly the active site that is this is known as the transcription bubble one by one the ribonucleotide get added and this chain get extended in the direction of 5 to 3. You can see here only one ribonucleotide get added whereas in the next diagram uh, three more ribonucleotide gets added which are exactly complementary to this template strand. So this is known as the transcription bubble. This is the one more picture of transcription bubble. Uh, this point, this, these are the two strands of the DNA. This is known as the unwinding point, whereas where the hydrogen bond between the two strands of the DNA are broken, and the single stranded DNA is made available to use it as a, uh, a template. And this is the non template strand that is the DNA coding strand, and this is the template strand and this uh, by using this template strand this RNA polymerase adds the ribonucleotide to the growing end that is the 3 dash end and this is the site where you can find the hybrid that is DNA RNA hybrid okay and this is known as the RNA binding site that is whatever the uh, newly synthesized RNA is there that RNA is uh, link to or somehow it binds to the RNA polymerase over here. This is the DNA template strand and here this is the exactly site where the ribonucleotide get added and so this is known as the catalytic site and this is the rewinding point that once this template has been read by the RNA polymerase now now, uh, now the that template is uh, I mean the rewinding takes place and that template form the hydrogen bond with the original partner because as it is moving further more and more template is made available for this RNA polymerase and therefore the previous uh, strand of the DNA which was used as a template it now it is free to form the hydrogen bond with the original partner and that is called as the rewinding point and this is how the RNA polymerase moves in this direction and therefore we call it as the enzyme movement it takes place in this direction. So this diagram help us to understand the concept of transcription bubble. There are overall if you want to study the transcription there are uh, three stages of transcription. Number one is the uh, initiation. In uh, initiation what happens that the RNA polymerase it recognizes the template at the particular site and that site is known as the promoter. So does the RNA polymerase bind to the uh, promoter and that uh, is known as the close complex formation that is just the binding of RNA polymerase to the uh, template strand and that binding takes place at 
the promoter this is known as the closed complex formation and once the uh, rna polymer is bound to the dna unwinding of dna takes place and we call it as a open complex formation that is the unwinding of dna takes place and the uh, template is made available for the rna polymerase and the, that results in the formation of the transcription bubble okay so we call it as a open complex formation next what happens that the by using this uh, template strand rna polymerase add one by one the ribonucleotide and whenever the chain extend almost around 9 to 10 rib uh, ribonucleotide chain it reach almost around 9 to 10 ribonucleotide so there is a possibility that this rna polymerase get dissociated from the dna and we call it as a abortive initiation in that case this rna polymerase again goes back and bind to the promoter and it moves further it add uh, 10 to 11 ribonucleotide and there is a possibility that again this ribo uh, this rna polymerase get dissociated from the uh, dna strand uh, this process will uh, repeat again binding of RNA polymerase at promoter that is the closed complex formation. Next is open complex formation that is the formation of the transcription bubble and then this RNA polymerase will add the ribonucleotide in 5 to 3 uh, direction and once it exits the 10 to 11 ribonucleotide chain then we call it as a true initiation okay so there is a possibility that uh, abortive initiation may take place and once rna polymerase exits 10 to 11 ribonucleotide chains then we call it as a true initiation after true initiation next next process is called as the elongation where the rna polymerase it go on adding the ribonucleotide to the growing end and thus the rna polymerase uh, it moves in the downstream uh, sequences and uh, we uh, call it as a elongation where the synthesis takes place in five to three direction now the moment when rna polymerase reach to the opposite end of that particular gene and it come across with the particular sequence we call it as a terminator then the termination take place here the rna polymerase get dissociated from the uh, dna and the tra RNA transcripts get released and this process is known as transcription. We are going to study it in detail how the transcription takes place. So, once the RNA polymerase get dissociated from the uh, DNA, again the duplex formation takes place means what this uh, single stranded DNA it forms the hydrogen bond with the original partner so we call it as a DNA duplex formation takes place so this overall transcription it can be studied in three steps initiation elongation and termination initiation means the very first step is the closed complex formation then the open complex formation that is the transformation of transcription bubble then there is a possibility of abortive initiation then true initiation take place followed by elongation and termination